Hey folks, look who's here! It's Scott from Superplex Music. He's back! It's ah! been a minute. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Can I call you the tight sweater and beer flipping best Preston? <laughs> as long as no one hears. So. <laughs> I really do hope you don't talk like that. <laughs> so we just came back from seeing Deadpool Wolverine. Mm -hmm. So are you going to be Wolverine or are you Deadpool? Which one? I think it would be Deadpool, right? Because I'm the Wolverine guy and you're the Deadpool guy? Um, I am going to be Reptile. Wait a Alright, cool, yeah. So he's Reptile. <laughs> So anyway, we're not going to say anything, and we're not going to spoil these. There's a lot of cameos. Uh, I think we can go through the trailers for a bit. They all suck. Uh, do you really like the new Joker one, right, with Harley Quinn? Yeah, you know, they, <laughs> they, they captured the essence of those characters perfectly. Oh, especially when they're dancing romantically. That's exactly what they were about. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, one for, uh, you know, all uh, fans to watch. Because, you know, it has a lot to do with uh, nothing. Yeah, pretty much, you know. So, what did you think? So, uh, you'll, it's fun. It, yes. Lots and lots and lots of fun. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> uh, I think they should change the name to Ryan Reynolds Goes Ape Shit. <laughs> because he absolutely does. Yeah, no, it's, it made me laugh harder than I have in a long time. I haven't had this much fun in a movie. Now, when you talk about the actual plot, the the word matter comes up a lot. <laughs> so really what that means is the idea is about being more than what you think you're capable of type of thing. So it's another one of those you know, 80s type movies where it's all about life lessons and shit, which is fine. You know, if that's what gets all the internet people's dicks hard, then cool, whatever. Just shut up about the wokeness for five minutes and we'll be okay. But there was a lot of hilarious shit and over-the-top violence. Oh, extreme violence. You're going to get that with Wolverine and Deadpool. Oh, yeah. With, uh, <laughs> you know, Deadpool has pointy things and Wolverine has pointy things and, you know, they pointed at each other. And yeah, no, it was... The choreography, I thought, was really, really impressive. Lots of fun. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of like... It was comic book violence. It's what you would expect when you see these two together. It's what Deadpool does. What did you think of the villainess? She was cool. Yeah. She was cool. And what did you think about accurate representation? Absolutely. From the, story, from the comics itself. Absolutely Cassandra Nova. Absolutely Cassandra Nova. I read the series to research for this movie when she first appeared. The whole story is true. That she was a twin that wasn't really born. Because it's comic books and it's fucking stupid. But... <laughs> She wasn't really born, but she was, and he ended up killing her in the womb. Charles Xavier did. Yeah. But she happens. Yeah. And shit, yeah. What do you, you know? Sometimes we have twins, and we kill them in the, in the womb. But she somehow made a body for herself. They made her look really good. I mean, if you look at the comics, she looks a little older in the comics. She's Charles, you know, sister, twin sister. She aged well. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, I'd fuck the shit out of her. But that's just me. But she acted it out really well like and she has powers yeah well like the spleen i have powers <laughs> you know she is they they changed it up a little bit because she was more uh, just a telekinetic which i liked i like that they made it more than simple telekinesis and telepathy <laughs> i gotta say what it is it's a bit graphic but cool <laughs> oh yeah no, it's, it's freaky yeah which is what you would expect from her because she's a freaky bitch she's freaky. yeah no she in the comic book she was way over the top. She wanted to destroy everything. She was the antithesis of Charles Xavier. Basically, yeah. Definitely a, a good bad guy. Uh, definitely a good threat. Oh all, yeah. All that is good. Oh yeah. You know, mm -hmm. all the good people trying to help good things happening in this movie. She's the one like we got it. Like the, the one you gotta beat. And oh, she yeah. did an awesome job. Uh, not sure the actress's name. But. I don't really know who she is. But Jane Foster. Yes, yeah. yes, that's a yes, Jane Foster. So, <laughs> so uh, it was. I mean, the references are all there. The the vague references to certain things. The soundtrack was really good. Yeah. Uh, everything. Listen, it's it's a hell of a time. It's the most fun I've seen in the Marvel movie. However, I am, and as I was saying to my really good friend Scott, in the car on the way back. The whole thing about the fourth and fifth phase being shit and the multiverse and everything, listen, 
You cannot have comics without multiverses. I'm sorry, you just can't. And the way Marvel was doing it, in so many movies in this Phase 4, I get that a lot of people didn't like them, and I understand why. Not all of them, per se. There were a couple that you can't not like. Yeah. But I still saw it as Marvel was maturing and making actual shows and films with real storylines. So I appreciated that. Would I watch them a thousand times like I did the other No. But this one? Yeah, this one you can watch a shit ton of times. It is fucking hilarious. <laughs> the wit is there. Oh, yeah. Deadpool's witty. Um, you know, at certain times it's like, you know, a little out of character with uh, some seriousness. Right. And I'm like, mm, not totally reminding me of Deadpool. Not that Deadpool isn't serious at times. He can be but he, but he handles it a different way, I think, right. than this one. Um, this was more of like a, um, uh, almost like, a what do I do type of thing. Right. I feel like Deadpool's a bit more of a character that kind of knows what he has to do and something that just doesn't want to. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, so it, a little bit of like the, not I'm going to say whininess, <laughs> but like almost like uh, looking for a purpose type of thing. That's not there's a bit of purpose looking in this which I was like, wasn't really expecting that. Regardless of that, it still, would, you know, hits a home run with all of the uh, action and all of the sarcasm and stuff like that. I think... And fourth wall stuff. Right. I think that it's, it's not so much he's looking for a purpose in the comments. It's like he's just looking for something to do now. Yeah. It's, he gets bored and he's just trying to do something. They kind of mention uh, a thing about ADHD. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> but that's really what he is. He just goes from one thing to the next. You've got to remember something. This guy's healing factor is pretty much keeping him immortal. And what that means is that he gets bored. And on top of that, his brain heals quick. So, like, one of the things that they said about the Wolverine backstory was why he didn't remember anything. It was because it was traumatic so his brain would forget it to heal quick. Interesting. So, with this, I think a lot of Deadpools, it's that he just doesn't remember what he just did or what he just wanted. So, he kind of jumps from one thing to another. Whereas, I see what you're saying, and he's right. In this one, as I said, the word matter is being used a lot. So, as a movie, especially if you're just going to see a movie, you know, it's, it's perfectly fine. But, we've read Deadpool comics. He's read a lot more than I have, I believe. And, you own him. I just read him online. Probably not legally, but don't tell anybody. But there's just the semblance. He borrowed them from me. It's okay. Oh, a couple of them, yes. Yeah. But it's just the semblance of Deadpool cannot finish the the scenario with nice things. And yeah, nice things. And in the end of one comic, he actually says, "Well, old Wade Wilson can't have nice things." So that's really he was mopey, <laughs> but it was mopey. It wasn't like a real. I do have to say this though, what they did with Wolverine I really liked. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, definitely just to see all of like the anger. Wolverine's just an angry dude. No, yeah, no. And uh, you know, you see that and also doesn't really want to take any shit from anybody. Right. Like that's that's Wolverine and uh, definitely captured that. Now I haven't read read a ton of Wolverine. I can't say, oh that's not how he is in the comic mm -hmm. Um just the basic stuff that I know about him, pretty freaking cool. I uh, read a lot of words. So, yeah, so you'd be able to, to be a little more uh, accurate uh, with regards to what is and what isn't comic book. Like. Yeah, he he was my guy growing up. He was my comic book Bret Hart. You know, I, I loved him because the thing with Wolverine was that he's he, the best there is. Right, and he was the best there ever. The thing with Wolverine was not only was he indestructible, he was a short guy, unlike Hugh Jackman. He was like 400 pounds of adamantium. They make a joke about that. Right. right. Oh, no. It was great. It was fucking great. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I always loved the fact that no matter how feral he could be, he had a heart of gold. And he always did the right thing when it was necessary. So that's what I loved about Wolverine. And You won't be disappointed. No. 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 It's, it's a lot of fun. I really suggest, to, if you're anything about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, now listen. Disney sucks, don't get me wrong. Their movies are shit now. And on top of that, they are completely raping Disney, I mean, Star Wars, to no end. He's saying what we're all thinking. Right, so, 
how they could keep shitting out Star Wars stuff and say, well, the Marvel Cinematic Universe needs to be a public... No, no, no. Marvel Cinematic Universe is saving you right now, okay? Whether or not the last couple movies did well... Let's just say this Deadpool is saving you. Right now it's saving. Deadpool is just saving them. Right now. Just completely saving this, them. This thing... I, I'd be shocked if this thing isn't like highest grossing comic book movie to date. Well, the movie theater was back where we went to. Yeah. And this was a 7.30 show. Right? Yeah. So... You know, it's and there was more people coming in when we were leaving. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, and like, and getting in our way, you know, when we're trying to watch the fucking movie, but yeah. people do that. But no, if you are into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, even if you're not, if you just want something fun to watch that's not Twisters or Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, I'm telling you, we can tell you, you might want to go see this movie. It's, it's just if you're not into any of this stuff, yeah, you're not gonna want to see. It. Maybe I I, I think so. I think uh, very violent. Yes. Right, it's going to be very violent. Cartoonish comic violence. Yeah. So it's going to be very, very violent. Um, but funny as heck. Oof. Like I said, at this movie, it, I should rename it Ryan Reynolds Goes Ape Shit. Because he totally does. Um, you know, he obviously put a lot into the writing and, you know, wanted to capture some essences of Deadpool, which made him famous. Right. Uh, you know, saying stuff that kn you know he knows he's in a comic, or in this case, a movie. Right. Um, you know, making references about popular culture. Right. Um, totally making references that he shouldn't make at the certain at, at, at that point in time with the situation he's in. Right. Very inappropriate stuff. Sexual references, sexual <laughs> scenarios. This is this is the stuff you go to see that isn't in any other comic book movie. You know. How great was Blind Out? Oh. <laughs> She's always great. She's always great. You know, Blind Out. I guess that's a spoiler. The Blind Out's there. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. I'm sorry. We didn't yeah. mean to say anything. That's the only one. <laughs> but the Invisible Man, played by Brad, Brad Pitt, he's not in this. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> we can only, you know, hope maybe he'll come back, you know, for Deadpool 4. Well, yeah, no, well, he died, actually. He's still. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Peter was the only one that he saved. Peter was the only one that he saved. Terry Crews died, right? Terry Crews died, yeah, that was. I was sad about that one. I was very sad, yeah. yeah. We like we like Terry Crews. Oh, Terry Crews is great. Yeah, you because know, he is in uh, White Chicks. <laughs> I feel like dancing. <laughs> but yeah, so that's our review. So thank you all for watching. I'm more for you soon to come. Stay tuned, take care, and have a great day.